In this video, we're going to show you how to share lighting between the iClone and the Unreal Engine. To start with talking about lighting, let's go ahead and turn off this directional light that's in Unreal. I'm just going to go here and type DIR, find it, and close the eyeball, which will stop it from working in Unreal. Now I'm going to go to iClone and go Create Light Directional Light. Now we have a directional light in our iClone scene. Let's go to the Live Link tab, and under the lights, you can see the directional light. But we need to transfer it to Unreal. So with it checked, I'm just going to hit Transfer File. And now, if you look underneath the iClone Origin, you can see the directional light. Now in Unreal's Content Browser, you'll find that it made a folder called Light, and inside that is our directional light. So let's rotate this light in iClone. You'll see it update in Unreal. Directional lights are not affected by position, so you adjust them by rotating them. So I'll go to the Modify tab, and we can turn the light on and off with this checkbox. Next, we can look at increasing the intensity of the light by going to the multiplier and going from 1.2 to 5. As you can see, it all updates in Unreal real time. And the same goes with the shadow checkbox. You can turn shadows off entirely with this checkbox. Now that we've went from creating a light in iClone and bringing it into Unreal, let's go the other direction. I've turned the visibility off on our directional light. Now let's look for the other directional light that's in the scene. I'll turn the visibility on. Since this light was created in Unreal, we need to add a blueprint to it. So let's go to the iClone Live Link options here and go to Apply Blueprint to Selected Lights. As soon as it's done, you're going to notice it's actually going to create a new light in the Content Browser folder. And here it is, Directional Light underscore 1. Let me clear our search window in the World Outliner here, and under the iClone Origin, you're going to see our directional light. Now, this light is going to have a Live Link section now and a subject name. And we want to pay attention to this name. This name should never have special characters like asterisks or commas or colons, just letters or underscores. But if we look in the Live Link tabs here, it's named it as dir underscore light. So in order for things to communicate properly, we need to go back to our light, go to the Details tab, and change the subject name to dir underscore light. And you'll see in Unreal it immediately starts working. And if we test it in iClone, we can see that iClone is now controlling the Unreal light. Now that we've looked at this, let's go look at point lights. All right, so we're going to create this point light. I'm going to go to Create, Light, Point Light in iClone. And then I'm going to have to switch to the Move tool. Let's find it and move it in place. Now, you'll notice in the Live Link panel there that we're in the Link section and the point light is already showing, but we haven't transferred it yet, which we'll do here very shortly. Now, I just want to get a good location to light up the face a bit. Go to the Transfer section on the Live Link panel. Now, I'm going to uncheck the directional light and just leave the point light and hit Transfer File. And you'll see automatically it lights up in Unreal and it's in the Content Browser. Now that the light has been transferred into Unreal, we can actually go to the Modify tab in iClone and we can make any adjustments. We can turn the light on and off. We can adjust the multiplier. We can change the color. And all these changes automatically update in Unreal. Now, besides just changing the color, we can also change the intensity range. As I go through and change the range on the intensity, you'll notice that it looks slightly different in the Unreal interface. This is because of slight differences in the way the two softwares handle lighting. With that being said, we do actually have an option to make them more similar when it comes to the lighting. What we can do is actually go into the details section for this point light. 
and we're going to look for use inverse squared fall off. Now let's scroll down and when we find it here, we're just going to turn it off. Now once we have this turned off, the point lights will more closely match each other. Another difference between iClone and Unreal is that the point lights in iClone do not cast shadows. Now I'm going to rotate our view here a little bit. And we'll increase the intensity of the light. And to make it really obvious after we do the intensity, we'll go to the multiplier and increase it as well. Now, you'll see that there are cast shadows in Unreal. This is not the case in iClone. Now, you always have the option in Unreal, if you go to the details section of the light, to turn off the shadows. You have static shadows and dynamic shadows. So at any time, if you don't want it to cast shadows, just turn them off in Unreal. The next light we're going to want to look at is the spotlight. So I'm just going to go to create light spotlight. Now that we have a spotlight, let's put it into position. I'm going to hit zero out, which will set it at zero, zero, zero in world space. And I'm just going to move it into place. Once I've got this in a nice spot, we're going to turn off the other lights, go to the scene tab and just turn off the directional and the point light. And let's go to the Live Link tab and transfer this to Unreal. So turn off the point light here, make sure the spotlight is checked and hit Transfer File. Now, just like the last light, we're gonna make sure we get the spotlight selected. We're gonna go to the Details section and we're going to go down to Use Inverse Squared Fall Off and we can turn it off. Now we can go to the Modify tab, and just like the other lights, we have full control in iClone. And turn it on and off. We can adjust the multiplier. We can turn shadows on and off. And of course, we can adjust intensity. And because it's a spotlight, let me pull out, we can adjust the angle. The fall off. And of course, the last feature, attenuation. And one last thing that we should probably talk about is lighting channels. So let's position this light and make it a little brighter. That seems to be a good spot. Now I'm going to grab these boulders here, move them closer. Lighting channels allow you to isolate lights to certain objects. Now we can see that we have cast shadows and we can see that the light is affecting both the character and the boulder. Now let's select the spotlight in the world outliner, scroll down in the details section, and you'll see lighting channels. By default, it's set to zero. If I turn that off, you'll see nothing is affected by the light. And now I'm going to switch it to channel one. Now, if I select the character and go to the channel, I can actually go here and I can add channel one to this and the light will affect the character. Now I'll select the boulder and add channel one and it does the same. So that is how you control lights in both iClone and the Unreal Engine.